Holy shit, I just watched episodes 5 and 6 of Selector Infected We Cross. This continues to be a series that uses a very thick, dark tone to tell a story that I'm not sure is as dark as it's implying that it is. In episode 5, we finally find out the sort of dark truth behind the games that they're all playing, but it's exactly what I expected it to be. I'm not really sure why it needed to be kept mysterious and hidden from the audience for five episodes. I can only assume it's because dramatically the characters couldn't know until now, but it doesn't make much sense that the cards would not tell them, like, oh, if you lose three times, you're gonna lose your wish. I tried to headcanon it. I thought maybe they didn't tell them because they were scared they'd stop battling and the cards love to battle. But when the green card is telling uh, Hitoe, like, throw me away because I'm dangerous to have on you, why didn't he just tell her why he was dangerous? Then she would have gone, oh, you're right, I should probably get rid of you, I should probably make sure I don't end up in any more battles, but he doesn't tell her until it's too late, and I couldn't think of any good reason for that. It's also just really hard for me to believe that Hitoe is not going to recover, because this show despite how dark it portrays itself, just doesn't seem like that kind of show. It really doesn't seem like a show that's not going to have a happy ending, that's going to be this tragic towards its characters. The fact that Hitoe is even still a presence in episode 6 after losing her ability to have friends suggests to me that she's going to get them back at some point because why else even keep her in the story? Which, if true, just makes it all the more confusing as to why the show bothers trying to look and sound like a horror show when it's not. Episodes 5 and 6 continually do this same two audio tricks. Either there'll be this big amalgamation of sound where like, you know, the music keeps getting more dramatic and the characters keep getting louder and they start yelling and then it all cuts and it's really silent right afterwards. And that happens like probably four times an episode between episodes five and six. Or they'll have the like long silence but this one sound effect is really loud. And I mean these are tricks that horror films use or like psychological thrillers and stuff like that. And that's what this show seems to be trying to convey with these moments. But again, it just feels overwrought to me. The characters are so over the top in their drama where everyone's always yelling and the show's always it's always very melodramatic everyone cares a lot about what they're doing and that makes sense i mean this is their wishes are on the line it's a high stakes sort of melodrama but i just can't i can't feel that it's like deserving of this level of horror it doesn't feel like a horror it doesn't feel like these characters are going to suffer it really just doesn't give me that impression. One character is suffering so far and it's really hard for me to believe that she's going to stay suffering throughout the entire show. I think that Rue has elements of an interesting character in that no one can really get into her head, her own mother was scared of her because she couldn't understand her, and she has no wish, but at this point we've known all that for about three episodes, she hasn't really done anything new. The same goes for her friend, the girl who's in love with her brother. She's, we get her storyline, nothing's really progressing with her. We're still at the stage where we're learning more and more about the games in the world, but I, I feel like I need us to proceed now. Like something big has to happen with one of those two characters in the next episode for it to remain engaging. And I guess that's my trouble with this show altogether, is that it, it feels like it thinks it's more exciting and engaging than it actually is, in a way. We're six episodes in, it still feels like we're just taking off, and I think this is probably only going to be a 13 episode show, so there's not a whole lot more that it can do if it's going to stay at the same pace that it's been at. It's entirely possible, though, that this could get really interesting soon. Maybe one of the new characters will be interesting. Maybe someone will have a match that really changes the game as we know it so far. But I need to see that for me to say, oh yeah, this show's exciting. Because so far it's mostly like it's watchable, but I don't feel like there's been any payoff yet. So we'll see.